I'm going to swing this over my head. And the centripetal force from this tiny ball is going to be counteracted by the weight of this much bigger ball. So if we have a little mass spinning around on a string, mv squared over r, r. And that's counteracted by w, the weight of the heavy mass. And we can also write this using the angular velocity of the ball. Now, the weight of this heavy ball is not going to change. But we can change the radius and velocity of the smaller ball. If the radius goes down, the velocity must also go down in order for the centripetal force to remain constant. Conversely, if the radius goes up, the angular velocity has to go down. So it can actually look like it's going slower when the radius is large, even though it's technically going at a higher velocity. So at a small radius, it has a very high angular velocity, even though its linear velocity is actually kind of small. At a high radius, its velocity is much faster, but its angular velocity is slower. And this whole time, the centripetal force is remaining constant, because the tension on the string is determined by the weight of this ball down here.